You are my only one. Just dancing, having fun. Out in the shining sun. Pray for me. Madura, for me. Pray I find my way. Hey friends then, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you are new, hi, my name is Jessica Mr. Park J. So in today's video, I want to do my full face using products that I set aside for a certain reason. You know, basically some products I've been put in here so I can make sure I use it and some I've been put in here because I like it and all that. So I'm going to share all that with you today. So basically this is my everyday box, you know, whenever I'm, I'm going to do my makeup, these are the products that I mainly reach for. Okay. So if you're interested in that, we're going to get into it in a moment but before we get into that if you yet to join the fan bam make sure to subscribe down below join the fan bam you know turn the vacation thumbs up this video if you like it share it with your family and friends and follow me on instagram if you'd like to as well and without further ado let's jump straight into this video so as you guys can see i've already done my brows and i kind of did it a little bit differently today i kind of did it like kind of like a brush stroke so it's a little bit different it's 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 it it's okay it's okay so first we're gonna go ahead and prime i actually have about four primers in here the first primer that i have in here is the revolution pro prime and hydrate primer i have this in the drawer because i like this primer i like the moisturizing and hydrating feel it has so that's why i put it in here i also put it with its sister the rimmel london fix and perfect primer this also has a moisturizing effect to it if you don't know i do have the matte version and i love that as well but i put another product in the drawer to replace the matte version version okay so i mainly focus these two primers in my perimeter now for my t-zone i've been using the nyx angel veil skin perfecting primer and this is also in the drawer as well for that purpose because i need something for my t-zone because it's mainly my t-zone that i produce oil the most the last primer that i do have it's kind of like primer it is a primer is the nyx pore filler which i absolutely love as well this one really just makes the skin look really smooth it creates a smooth canvas for your foundation and whatnot so i really like that so that's why i have it in the drawer now i'm gonna go ahead and use the nyx pore filler i'm gonna apply this mainly in the areas where i have textures right here i like the way it smooths out textures as well now i'm gonna use the nyx angel veil skin perfecting primer if you've got oily skin i would highly recommend you you, you grab this this primer so i'm gonna apply this on my nose middle of my brows and my forehead right here and a little bit on my chin sometimes i do produce oil in my chin it's gonna Pull it up here too. Okay, so let's decide which one do we use. Let's use the Revolution because I like the smell of this one better. It has kind of like a coconut scent to it. It's like the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer, which I've already finished. And I was really, really sad about that, but I became more happier when I found the Revolution Pearl Primer and Hydrate Primer because this one is like a cheaper version of the Too Faced Hangover X Primer, in my opinion, anyway. And I mainly just put this in the outer perimeter. As you can see, like my T zone looks relatively matte and my outer and the outer pyramid of my face looks relatively hydrated that's how it's gonna feel throughout the day huh <laughs> all right so the uh, next thing i have in this drawer are these two products actually they're the same products but different shade this is by nyx this is the nyx it will be gold strobing cream i have the shade bright star as well as the shade glow teeny when i first started using this product i didn't really like it i didn't really see the point of it but i started using it on my body and i'm like girl i haven't applied it on my body on the day that we went for the low boy and i showed it to you guys in the vlog it just glistens you know so i don't necessarily use it for the face all the time i just apply it on my body on my arms the, the areas that's going to be exposed and my legs as well yes i go all out glotini has that more of a pink base to it meanwhile the shade bright star is more on the yellow side this is glotini do you see that pink there and this is bright star you see it's more on the yellowish side let's just combine it i got a chest tattoo it's not real it's already fading off <laughs> this one do you see it was a peacock <laughs> but it's fading off already oh so next product in here is the benefit cabral gel in the shade five as you can see i've already done my brows and that's what i used to do my brows today so i just thought to share that with you and i put that in here because i absolutely love this product i have been using this non-stop so in here we have a concealer by Arben. this is the Arben, the real conceal liquid concealer in the shade deep this shade right here 
here has a very red undertone and i love to use this to color correct and this is almost finishing i really like the formula it's it has a really nice beautiful decent coverage to it and it just color corrects my skin perfectly and i absolutely love it so when it finishes i need to contact the lady that sent this to me and buy another one Ooh, there we go so next product in here is the hourglass vanish seamless stick foundation one of those names this is in the shade golden almond i remember buying this in london so i can do a foundation test review on it and i remember when i did a foundation test review on it i was really really excited about the foundation itself i love i loved the way it looked on my skin i loved the finish of it now mind you when i did the foundation test video it was in winter so um when I wore this, when I go back to Australia in summer, I was like, oh, ooh, this, this, this is not a good product for summer whatsoever, especially on my oily, sweaty skin, okay? So um, I decided to put it in here because I need to finish it. And literally, this is the only amount left in there. Like if I keep twisting it, there's nothing coming out. And that's because I've used this so many times as a color corrector. And I've also used it as a concealer so many times because the shade Golden Almond is a little bit lighter than my skin tone and i've also kind of scraped a little bit off it and mixed it with other foundations in here to kind of you know try a different combination and i put it in this cushion container right here this is the mua lux glow beam liquid highlight cushion if you remember this i loved the highlights in here but it was already kind of finishing so i kind of mixed the foundation in together with the remaining highlight that's in this container and so most of the time i'll just grab this and i'll just apply this on my face and there's still i think there's still a little bit of foundation left in there yeah so i just use this to kind of just cover my skin a little bit i'm just so glad it's finishing i wouldn't recommend it for oily skin especially during summer and if you're like me and you sweat on your face i would not recommend this because this will break apart on your face literally it doesn't stay together but let me just try and use this to further conceal some spots the remaining spots on my face but i really do like the coverage it's a nice medium to full coverage and it feels really really comfortable on the skin it's just that longevity and the wear on my oily combination sweaty face you know what i mean <laughs> next products that's in this drawer is the huda beauty for future high coverage foundation this is in the shade cinnamon 440g i've already done a foundation test on this and i did a detailed three minute video comparing this foundation to the fenty beauty foundation this one is more sweat resistant than the fenty beauty foundation so i absolutely love this but the downside of this is the fact that this is not my shade so i've been mixing it with any other foundation that i can find so with that being said the other foundation that's in this drawer is the laurel infallible total cover full coverage weightless feel foundation and this is in the shade 312 cocoa so this one is a little bit is it red or orange red slash orange on me the laurel foundation is not my absolute favorite foundation because it doesn't necessarily stand the test of time they claim for this foundation to be 24 hour wear and for oil the skin and all that i believe yeah i think because i've done two foundation tests on this foundation but it's not good for oily skin or oily combination skin it starts to like my oil start coming through about two two hours or so later and it, it I don't know even though it has a really beautiful finish it doesn't necessarily stand the test of time but when it's combined with the Huda Beauty foundation girl they look so so good I think I've put too much of the Huda Beauty mixing foundation is all about getting the right amount if you don't have the right amount your face is gonna look weird and that's definitely happened recently and one of you babes actually caught on it in my Jaclyn Hill um, vault collection review you know let's just not yet mm. I didn't get the perfect mixture, but you get the gist. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Foundations have been, has been applied and we have a nice even coverage. I also brought it down to my neck a little bit because I kind of went a little bit off with the mixture. So I had to make do, okay? But we can see we have a nice max full coverage on the face. Next product in this drawer is the NYX HD Concealer in the shade Nutmeg. And I put this in the drawer because I'm not a massive fan of this concealer. So I just put this here because I need to finish it. There's only a little bit left in the bottle, which is great. And I don't really like the spatula, the Dolphin applicator. It's a little bit too short for me. <laughs> I always like the way it blends out in some of the mixture, but I always remember that I don't, I don't know. It's, it's one of those products I'm just like, mm, about. And there's also, 
I just try to open it with my main hands and um okay i didn't know that could happen anyway and there's also something a little bit stabby in the edge of the dofa applicator itself i just can't wait to completely finish it hang on let me drink my fake looking milo <laughs> this is almond almond milk with coffee in it yeah but i love it it gives me a kick <laughs> Wow, my skin is looking real good. Next product in the drawer is a powder. This is the Cody S1 Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent. And initially, I put this in the drawer because I wasn't really a big fan of it, mainly because of the smell. Not necessarily the formula, I really like the formula. It was the smell that was driving me crazy and I put it in here so that way I can force myself to use it or to finish it or to try as much as possible to just get used to the smell. And lo and behold, I was finally able to get used to the smell, honey. So now, this is all I've been using over the past few weeks with the exception of yesterday when i was going for a job and i had to I, and i needed a yellow base powder that's when i picked up my german blend loose setting powder but i've mainly been reaching for this powder right here so it's so now it's in the drawer because it's one of my favorite powders all right so next photo that is in here is a mattifying powder this is by primac this is the primac my perfect color mattifying primer in a shade rich espresso and i bought this in london as you can see it's a bit deeper than my skin tone so I mainly use this to contour I really love the formula of this powder now I know it's not a bronzer and it's a powder but you can do whatever you want it's your life honey okay so I just use this and I'm just gonna lightly contour my face kind of bronzish my face and yes I'm still using the sponge <laughs> I just can't bother picking out a brush and it works too so all right I'm just gonna pick up the air sponge powder again and just fix my mess by cleaning this up all right i'm gonna use the same powder to lightly contour my nose lightly <laughs> and i'm gonna be using a blending brush even though my nose is already kind of contoured already but we're just gonna go over it a little bit and bring it to my crease all right is that too sharp i think it's okay i know i'm back looking a bit weird i don't know anyway so the next product in here is the elf sunkiss glow bronzer and as you guys know i really like this bronzer right here it's in the shade warm tan as you can see i've hit pan but that's okay this is this is in australia so that's good so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this to highlight and yes i am still using a sponge this is kind of turned into a full face using only sponge video <laughs> I don't know if you can see that because I can't see you seeing it, but can you see that? Do you see that glow? All right, so the next product in here is the NYX Blush and Contour Duo. And I've mentioned this so many times. Oh, yay, finally, we're finally seeing some sort of usage in there because I've been using this nonstop, mainly because I need to use it. I'm not necessarily a massive, massive fan of it, but I need to use it. So let's just go ahead and use the sponge. Why not? If it's going to show up at all. This is what I like to reach for my e.l.f. blush palette more okay all right so next product in here is the l'oreal super blendable powder in a shade n9 and i really like this powder that's why it's in here even though i'm trying not to use it too much because i cannot find this one or this particular shade here in australia but i really like it <laughs> gonna use it to blend out the Cody Hespon powder a little bit here now let's go into the eyes so I've already kind of lightly set my eyelid with a powder just lightly by lightly I mean like with a dust of it because the NYX concealer that I put on my lid was kind of creasing a little bit so I needed to set it a tiny tiny little bit so now let's go into eyeshadow I actually recently just placed this in the drawer this is an eyeshadow palette by Revolution this was done in, in collaboration with Tammy makeup by Tammy or Tammy Clark here on YouTube YouTube, and this is the tropical paradise palette and this palette is beautiful but i'm still not sure of it mainly because of the pigment but i don't mind it because number one it's affordable and number two there's so many rich colors in here so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this and one of you guys did um request that i film another video using this palette so i decided to put it in here so that way i can remember to use it so that's why it's in this drawer so i'm just gonna go straight into the shade purpy perps which is a purple shade in the the palette a purple matte shade this one right here and i'm going to be using this brush that i shared with you guys recently the this big concealer brush by ovoni so i'm going to stamp this on my lid try not to go past my crease yes oh girl this color is on fire Oh no. 
I like this. I like this purple. I've been staring at it for for weeks now because I've only used this palette once and that was when I was doing that video, you know, reviewing the palette. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Now, let's hope it doesn't blend away when I'm blending the edge. Let's just blend the edge because I want to soften it a little bit. Oh, that's good. Okay. I was actually going to go in with the purple shimmer shade, but I think I'm liking the all matte color right now. My, this eye just switched the lid. It just went. <laughs> oh, let's see what this. Look what you've made me do. Is that good? Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. Okay. All right. So what shade was that? This is a shade tropical. Of course it is tropical. It's an orange shade is that orange whatever color it is it's a tropical shade and i'm putting this in my crease just at the edge of the shade purple perps can i just say i love that name perpy perps gosh my tongue so let's grab the purple shade that i talked about let's put this in the inner corner instead okay i want a different color in there you know what i would have liked a pumpkin orange shimmer shade oh that would go really well with this look especially because there's that orangish color in the crease right there we always want what we do not have let's try this yellow okay that is beautiful yeah beautiful this is the shade oh lord jesus it's a gold shimmer shade oh it's called golden sands this one right here so this is what i'm applying in my inner corner yeah beautiful it's true on top of that purple shimmer and i didn't spray it that's nice that's nice it's just that when i'm applying it on my lid i remember feeling it feeling a little bit sandy crumbly i don't know the, they're very pigmented it's just the consistency that kind of threw me off a little bit all right so let's grab this other shimmer shade it's called exotic this is like a bronze shimmer shade i don't know it's kind of like mint tone beige color this one right here and i'm going to put this in my what is this called brow bone okay the most simple eyeshadow look ever i love creating looks like this it just looks so simple okay so oh i should do my lower lash line i always almost forget my lower lash line i'm definitely going to be using that matte purple shade for my lower lash line like hello i'm gonna stamp it first and then blend it out because i don't want it to fall on my face let's see what this orange would do okay i'm putting the orange there too okay i'm only putting it halfway okay okay all right so here we go eyes are done uh, yes almost because we need to kind of should i draw a wing i don't know but anyway let me just share this with you all so i have two eyeliners in this drawer one because i love it and the other one because i love the formula but i hate the applicator itself the one that i absolutely love applicator and everything is this one by primark this is the primark or ps liquid liner in the shade ultra black this was purchased for one pound at primark which is really good and i really like this you know i really like the tip and everything and the formula you know it has a good longevity to it it doesn't necessarily dry matte instantly but if you wait for a while it will and the second eyeliner is the revolution pro supreme eyeliner this is also black as well i like the formula of this but i don't necessarily like the tip the tip here the applicator whatever is rubbery in texture and everything and so it doesn't really feel comfortable on the lid so i'm so what i mainly do most of the time is use another eyeliner that's already dried out i just use the tip of that in combination with the formula of this eyeliner but i don't think this look needs a wing so i think what i'm gonna do is is apply the eyeliner just on the lash line right here so that way it can kind of act like a band or whatever for my lash and i'm using the primac eyeliner and before that completely dries i'm just gonna smudge it a little bit just a little bit so it doesn't look like like a straight line now i'm gonna apply the same eyeliner in my waterline hmm. you know what i'm noticing this eyeshadow oxidizes changes color do you see that like i just topped it up so it can still maintain that vibe Vibrancy, you see? All right, so the next product is this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in the shade Blackest Noir. And this is just in here because I need a mascara to mascara my lashes <laughs> before I apply forces so that way I can actually see my itty bitty lashes so that way I can know exactly where I'm applying forces. So that's why it's in here. I do like this mascara. I don't have lashes. Oh. 
Can you see this? I feel like this eyeshadow has dulled down. Oh, another product I didn't share with y'all that's in this drawer is the ColourPop Brow Pencil in a shade black and brown. And this is in here because I absolutely love this. So I like reaching for this whenever I'm going to work. Let me just kind of use it to extend my tail a little bit here. By the way, if you're wondering, I didn't have to fill in my brows when I finished my makeup today because after I've, I did my brows, I went in with my hairspray. I, I sprayed it on the spoolie and just brushed the brows up with it so that way it can stay in place and I don't have to like fix it. You know what I mean? So yeah, she says while she's fixing her brow. But you know what I mean? Like most of the time I have to like almost kind of draw it again. But now I'm just filling in the areas that I missed. Okay, so there we go. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes and I'll be right back. All right guys, I am back and we've finished all the products that's in this box and I need to, I'm gonna arrange that back later. So that is it, that's all of it. I don't have lipstick stuff in there because all my lipsticks are right in front of me. So for lips, I am gonna go ahead and use the NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in a shade Beauty Mark. And I'm gonna go in with under NYX Lip Lingerie, but this one is a gloss. This is in a shade Spirit. And I'm going to apply this on top. Now I'm gonna go in, I know. <laughs> now I'm gonna use a glitter. This is also by NYX, it's the NYX Lingerie Lip Gloss Glitter in a shade Butter. All right, so there we have it we've used all the products that was in my box with the exception of the lipsticks another product i did realize that i didn't mention or i've already turned off the camera before i realized that that, that i was actually going to use it is a duo eyelash adhesive glue and i put that in this box because i don't always reach for it and don't judge don't judge don't knock it till you try it okay and that's because i mainly use my air bonding glue to apply my lashes i just really like the fact that i don't have to wait for too long for it to get tacky and it's really easy for me to remove and it doesn't rip off my lashes it's not like i had lashes to begin with anyway you know what i mean but yeah so i mainly reach for the um bond glue that's why i don't really reach for the dual glue so i put that in there so that way i can reach for it and yeah it, it works where i like it it's just i have to wait a long time for it to get tacky anybody got time for that okay i just i like all the products all together it's just some of the products i don't like on its own but by the time i combine it together it just it works out you know what i mean it works out so have you tried any of the products that i used in today's video i know you've seen me use these products in my videos but i just kind of thought to do a dedicated video about the products that i placed in my everyday drawers and the reasons behind them okay so yeah thank you so much for watching babes i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know by commenting down below and also thumbs up this video okay today's fandom shout out is Gwendolyn hodge thank you so much for your support girl and for commenting on my recent video i really appreciate you okay and i appreciate every single one of you babes and let me know if you're gonna try this look out i really like the way it turns out it turned out i just really wish that the color would stay the uh, as vibrant as it was when i initially applied it but as you can see like it kind of dulls down a little bit especially that already and shade but all 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 is well and ends well i don't know if i said that right but anyways i said earlier thank you so much for watching once again and as always whatever you to love yourself and i see you in my very next video bye so basically i've been i've been <laughs> i can't speak um it's so fucking hot please uh, uh. the l sun kissed sun kissed seriously esther seriously so dusty esther why are you so messy nonsense every time oh what's this hello so yeah thank you so much for you look at my whale tattoo oh you can't see how can i show you this that's a whale Ooh. Ooh. i don't know if that's the sound they made but that's how i feel like all most of the time right now i'm gonna film how i film my youtube video video as you all been requesting so stay tuned for that i'm wrong